Well, there may be labor peace in BC's classrooms this fall. Teachers will be taking part in extracurricular activities after that long and difficult year last year, but they are concerned that they've been left out of the talks leading up to curriculum changes. Today, though, on this first day of school, everybody, even the kids, are just glad to be back. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. Hand in hand, the Mallet brothers safely crossed the street to Sir James Douglas Elementary, and they've brought support. Uh, who's that? No. And is he going to help you on your first day? Mm -hmm. The boys okay. can barely contain themselves. They've been up since 6 this yeah. morning. Our backpacks have been packed a million times, unpacked, packed again, all our school supplies. It's a typical first day. Everybody's excited. Over at Royal Oak Middle School, it's a half day, but right into learning and the curriculum tomorrow. It can be a big source of stress for students, so we really want to settle them into a routine as quickly as possible. A routine that will not be disrupted. The BC Teachers Federation promises a fall free of job action despite being legislated back to work. And that means a return to extracurricular activities such as sports teams and school plays. I think there was a real a real gap last year. I I'm really excited that they're both going to get to the opportunity to try some new things that they wouldn't that well they didn't last year a new thing that could be coming as early as next fall a 12-month school year kids already know what they think of that idea i don't like it <laughs> you like your summer break yeah <laughs> the ministry of education says it will be up to each district to adopt a calendar but a 12-month flex plan has its benefits. It's about giving students ownership and power over their own learning, helping them to get to know themselves as a learner and understand what their learning style is and how they learn best. There's also talk of a curriculum overhaul from K-12 to that would take a look at learning less about the facts and more on developing practical skills. This is an opportunity to look at that and to really go a lot deeper in their learning as opposed to uh, just piling on knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Because learning is what teachers say is their number one priority. Aaron Glazer, CTV News, Victoria.